Hello. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? I assume you are French. Oui, bien sûr je le suis. Well, I got a plane to catch by. Au revoir. First, open up System Preferences and go to Speech. Then, click there and click on Customize. And then choose the voices that you want. I'm going to choose Tom for English and then Thomas for French. And then click OK. And then this window is going to pop up. So when that pops up, click Install and wait for it to install. Then you've got to download Text2Tape for free on the Mac App Store. Then open up text edit and type in text of the first person. Then close the window and call it one and save it on the desktop. And then make a new text edit document. And then type in the text of the second one. And then call it two. And then the third person. And now the fourth person. Doesn't matter if you don't spell it right, because it's just what's, what the computer is going to say. And then five. And then six. Okay. So now go, go to your voices and click on the voice that you want for the first person. So I'm going to choose Tom since my first voice is, friend, is English. Then open up text to tape and click on the left record button because you want AAC. You don't, you don't want it to be high quality. It doesn't really matter. So you want to choose the first document that you saved on your desktop. Number one. And you want it to save on your desktop. So just click choose the bottom. And there you go. Next, go back to your system preferences and switch to the other voice for the second person. And do the whole thing again. Switch again. And click OK. Switch to Thomas. Four. And finally, we're done. There we go. And close that up. And you got to download Stick It Action for 99 cents on the App Store for your iPhone or iPod Touch. So we'll open it up, tap on New Animation, and tap on Blink. Then you want to create a stick, man. So tap on the stick. Next step is double tap on him and move his hand so it looks like he's waving. Then you want to add a second stick man. Yeah, first. First you gotta add the speech bubble. Drag it to his head. Double tap. And erase that text. And then type in what the first person says. First person first voice that you recorded on your Mac. Then make a second stick person, double tap, and then move his hand so it looks like he's waving. And then tap on the colors button, tap on red, and then blue for the other one. And then we're gonna add, well, we're not gonna add the second speech bubble yet. Then take a picture that saves the frame. So you always gotta do that when you're ready and you want that saved, then add the second speech bubble, delete that one, and type in its text. And then take a picture. Next, delete that bubble. And just continue doing that. And each time you gotta save 
the picture. Each time you're done, each time you, each time it looks nice. Each time you got one speech bubble on the screen. Okay, then add a helicopter. And take a picture, move it down, take a picture, move it down, take a picture, move that guy, take a picture, move him again, take a picture, add the trash, take the guy out. Take a picture, move the helicopter up, take a picture, move it up, and take a picture each time. And then go to there, save to media library, and then you're done. Then plug in your iPod, or iPhone. Then go to Spotlight, type in image capture. And in image capture, I'm going to choose that last video that's saved. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And then I'm going to click on import. So now it's on my desktop, see? I'm going to open up iMovie Plus, and I'm going to call this movie Super. And then click create. So now you want to go up to File, Import, Movies, and choose that movie that you just imported and make it so it goes to the new to a new event called Super. And you want to copy files just so that you have another one still on your desktop. Okay, now you want to drag that up. Yep, drag it up. Then, since it's really fast, wanna you want to go to the speed area and make it the slowest possible. Then push done. Then go up to share, export movie, and then large, because it's not HD, so it's okay. Then click export. Then delete it and click movies and... And then put the thing, the movie that you just exported, the super movie. And you're going to see it on the bottom of your screen, right there on the right. So click, drag it in, then double click. Make it slower, make it the slowest possible. Then open Finder. And next you want to drag all the voices in. So, voice number one, and just keep doing that until you're done. Three, three, four, five, six. Okay. And now, click there, so you can see the waves. And match the the voices up to the speech bubbles. Okay, now right click and split clip so that you can make different speeds on different parts of the movie of the video. Next, drag that over here to line it up. Then right click at the end right after the last voice split clip and then make that part faster than normal speed and you're done so export movie I'm gonna call this one super finer super final so that it doesn't interfere with the, the other version hello bonjour comment allez-vous I assume you are French. Oui, bien sûr je le suis. Well, I got a plane to catch by. Au revoir.